on top of the filter, it's got these two ports. So this will check uh, your gas pressure and your exhaust vacuum. Two of the most important things that we're doing with the roaster, obviously we're, we have some type of gas, either propane or natural gas, that we're using to provide heat to the beans. And then we're also exhausting uh, the air out of the drum to make sure that there's nothing that gets into the facility that might be harmful to the operator. So we want to make sure that we have enough gas to run the roaster properly, and we want to make sure we're pulling enough of a vacuum so that uh, it's safe for the operator to run the machine. So this is something that we'll check here, but over a period of time in uh, your facility, maybe the utility changes the amount of gas that we're receiving, something happens to your gas line, uh, something uh, goes on with the exhaust piping, or might be on the roof, something starts to obstruct the flow uh, of your exhaust. So we'll want to check that we're getting the proper amount of gas and uh, the proper exhaust pressure. Okay, well let's go check the gas pressure first. So we have a gauge on the back of the machine. This gives you uh, a relatively accurate measurement. So you can just go back there and look at it Right now, we're reading about 16. That's where it's showing on the gauge. But if you want a more accurate measurement, then we would use the manometer. We've got the back off of our roaster now, so you can see everything clearly. When you were checking it, you would probably check it from this side. Uh, but there's a filter right here. So this is just a filter. Make sure that everything's clean when we're going in. On top of the filter, it's got these two ports. So if you take your screwdriver, and you put it in there, there's a screw. You can turn it two complete turns. That way your screw doesn't fall out, but you're allowing free flow of the gas. When we've uh, reduced the, when we've loosened the screw, so I've got my finger over it because the gas is gonna come out right now. Uh, How many turns they two turns, two turns. Two turns, yep. That'll allow free flow of the gas, but the screw won't come out, fall on the floor, and get lost. So, yeah. So then we want to zero out your manometer. Um, this is reading in inches of water column. So you can also see that on the back of the gauge here too. The gauge gives you a general reading, but the manometer will give you a real reading. So if you're close on what the gas pressure is, and it looks like you're okay, um, it may be that the gauge is showing you okay, but you're actually a little bit below or a little bit above what it's supposed to be. So a manometer is a more accurate rating and we suggest that you use that. So I'm going to put my manometer on, on this port right here. I've zeroed it out and it's showing me 18.56 inches of water column. Here it's showing me about 16. So there is a difference where the manometer is giving a little bit different reading. There's another thing that we want to check with our manometer and that is... Wait. Yes. Okay, we'll close up this, close up our screw to two turns. Okay, so the second thing that we want to uh, check, and this is part of the safety check before you can operate the roaster, is that we're pulling sufficient vacuum out of the drum and then we're exhausting that to our afterburner. So yeah, we want to check in the rear of the machine, we want to check that we're getting sufficient gas from the machine and we want to check that we're getting sufficient exhaust vacuum. So we're actually pulling a vacuum out of the drum to make sure that uh, we're getting rid of any you know potentially dangerous gases. Any of the natural gas or the propane that didn't burn completely, we want to exhaust that out so the operator isn't breathing it. Okay, so we've got a switch back here to dial, this blue switch, and uh, we've got a setting, and it also has an LED. So when we turn on the roaster, uh, it's going to start the fan, the exhaust fan. We hit the button, we turn, turn the drum, 
start the exhaust fan, when it gets up to sufficient pressure, this LED is going to light. So if we don't have sufficient pressure, could that potentially not start the engine? That's right. If we don't have sufficient vacuum, uh, the unit will not start. That's part of the safety chain. We want to make sure everything is operating safely and not for the operator. So again, these switches are electromechanical parts. So if they're being on a machine for 5, 10, 20 years, uh, it's possible that they could go bad. So we can also get a manual reading to see what exhaust vacuum we're pulling. So again, we've got a port. This might be located in a couple of different locations uh, that might be on this side for the older style roasters. Uh, these machines from about 2015 or 16, uh, the port's on this side. We can put our screwdriver in there. So we want to turn this to complete turns. And then we'll turn our manometer on again. Put that on the port. And then we want to change our units to millibar. And we'll want to check the millibar reading. So, so what should I be looking for? What is my target? The target that we set it at coming out of the factory is minus two millibar. Okay. So that's a vacuum, so we're pulling stuff out, so it's uh, minus two millibar. Yeah. What should be the highest before you, you're out of the charge? Uh, you can run the pressure as high as you want. So if you have one of the series of roasters with the VFDs, we're going to allow you to adjust that and you can adjust the speed on your fan, turn it up to 100% if you want. That's the newer units, correct? Correct. Okay. If you're watching on YouTube, please hit subscribe. And as always, leave us comments on what future videos you might want to see.